Now let's move to something more complicated, okay, which is the disaster recovery plan. If we go to or open the job description, we will see that one of the requirements for any cybersecurity specialist is to know how to collaborate with information technology team or staff to implement a disaster recovery plan. Disaster recovery is a very, very sensitive and critical topic to the organization. And conducting a disaster recovery, it's not that easy and very sensitive activity. The point is that you need to identify the critical business function and then identify what is the acceptable downtime by the department and then start planning for the restoration. The good point is that you are not the one who planned for the restoration. Usually is the IT department. So that's why, you know, the technical part of the plan is usually done by IT department, by information technology. But you should be the one who conduct the business impact analysis. So your responsibility here is to do a business impact analysis and then identify all the critical business function and then ask IT department to prepare those restoration plan and then test those plans. So you are more as a coordinator. So let me show you the documents that usually is taking most of our time, which is the business impact analysis. This is a real business impact analysis that, you know, show, you know, the different uh, services in one department, IT department, with an explanation of each services and some details about those services. And then we have some values that we collect from the department, like RTO and RPO, which is mainly into the acceptable downtime and the recovery time objective and so on. This is the most sensitive document in the disaster recovery plan. If you know how to do only this document, 90 or 80 percent of your work is done. Then everything will be done by a different department, which is the IT department. So assume that I want to conduct a disaster recovery planning with, to an IT department in any organization, but I don't know how it should be conducted. Let's see how to do that in ChatGPT. So what I will do, I will go to the ChatGPT prompt and then I will ask him, I need or I want to conduct a disaster write it disaster recovery plan for an organization <clears throat> please provide a step by step plan on how to do it. I can follow the normal approach, which is getting a step-by-step -step plan and following this plan. He will tell me first, you need to do the following. Second, you need to do the following. I can follow that. And ChatGPT will provide me with the, you know, examples if you need it. So, you know, I can ask him for a specific step, you know, how it should be done and show me example and it will do that so if i don't know anything about the uh, disaster recovery plan i will ask him for step by step and then for each step i can ask him for you know show me example so for instance step number two i don't know what is the business impact analysis i never did one before so i can tell him <coughs> could <coughs> you elaborate more about step two and provide some examples. This could be an approach. It may take longer time, but it will be, you know, more <coughs> specific and explained to you. So it's more as a mentorship except it will give you all the details. So 
So I can tell him that, and he will give me an example, and he will tell me what is the business impact analysis. This is one approach. Second approach, if I saw a business impact analysis before, I know the business impact analysis, except I don't know how it should be done. I can follow the same approach I, 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 I did in the risk assessment. I can ask him to prepare the template for me and tell me what needs to be filled and from whom should I get this information. So let's follow the same approach regarding the uh, BIA. Okay, so instead of asking step by step, let's do that in a more sophisticated way. So I will tell him, provide me with provide me with a uh, provide me with a uh, BIA template. Now keep in mind, he can give you the table itself, template. Or you can ask him for a source from where you can download the template. So if you want to download the Excel sheet directly or a template for an Excel sheet, you can ask him for a link to download the BIA. Actually, let's do this. Provide a link to download some or download BIA template. And actually, I can ask for uh, more than one, so I can ask him for resources, some resources to download the BIA. So one way is to ask him for a link from where we can download templates similar to the ones that I show you, or I can ask him to create the template from me in a table format and start asking ChatGPT what needs to be written, where and how, and from who, whom should I collect the information. So those are some of the templates from where you can get uh, the uh, BIA, or I can ask him to provide a BIA template in a table format and I can even ask for some with some information inside the table for clarification. So it's not really hard to get what you are looking for. He can give you the table and you can start asking him what need to be filled here and there and if some information is needed from the user side or from the department side i can ask him what should i ask the department to provide so instead of talking to any user or department uh, or any uh, customer and you don't know exactly how to explain you can ask him to create an email and write down what is needed and he will reply back so you can take it as much or you can take this subject as deep as you can right if any of the information here it's not clear to you what is an rto what is an rpo you can ask okay and who should assign those value one hour 30 minutes this kind of information so if i got the bia and i need to know what is remaining to do disaster recovery planning, I can ask ChatGPT to guide me on that. Once I get the uh, BIA filled by the related department or by the relevant department. what should be the next step. Step by step. Of course, from time to time, you will get this kind of problems due to the load, but still, you will be able to get the results that you want. You just need to be patient and you need to understand what you are uh, writing. So, 
I think we utilized everything related to Shared GPT-4. I may need to switch to Shared GPT-3 to get the results, which is doable, by the way. So I can go up uh, or create a new session and switch to Shared GPT-3. That's 3.5. So this is how to conduct a business impact analysis, or at least to initiate the business impact analysis using ChatGPT.